In this video, we're going to talk about the blonde bombshell who can make you a ton of money reselling on eBay and elsewhere. Heck, just last month, she helped make me a $750 sale, which I'll show you in just a few moments. Nope, we're not talking about Marilyn Monroe. We're talking about the one and only Jane Mansfeld. Do you really think so? Now, Jane Mansfeld was a famous actress, singer, nightclub entertainer, and Playboy playmate of the 1950s and the 1960s. Many people in reselling men and women come across Playboy magazines and look into selling them. Now, there's a lot of old issues that are not worth a lot of money, but you want to pay particular attention to the February issues starting in 1955 along with some other ones now this one right here does not have jane mansfeld on the cover but it's famous because jane mansfeld is the centerfold of this particular issue now i can't show you the full imagery here i'm just showing you uh, her face but it's important to be able to recognize this issue because this one sold for two hundred dollars plus shipping. Now, if you're wondering if it is legit and okay to sell Playboys on eBay, it currently is consistent with their policy as long as the listing does not show any nudity in it. So don't take a picture of the full nude centerfold or any other nudity in it. And also make sure that the issue does not contain any sexually explicit content. Now, if you had this issue graded, if you had a really great condition issue, you sent it off to a place like CGC uh, to encapsulate it, even though you can't open it and see the centerfold, just to have this issue as a trophy that's displayed by collectors helped result in a $750 sale. Now, subsequent to that issue, it really helped to explode the sales of Playboy magazine, and it really helped to propel Jane Mansfeld's career. So Playboy kept bringing her back in subsequent Februaries. Now, there's nothing like the original, so that original is the one that's going to sell for the most, but if you come across the February 1956 issue, she's inside there as well. That could bring you about a $50 sale. So can the February 1957 issue. Now keep in mind, her face is not always going to be prominent on the cover or even present on the cover. In this version, she's there, but she's inside this little locket with the Playboy bunny. In this issue over here from February 1958, her name is on there, but that's really it. So that one will bring you about a $30 sale. Now, she was also brought back for February 1960. They did basically like a pictorial display of her inside, uh, like a collection. And so uh, this one just has her name on it with a bunch of uh, kiss symbols. That's about a $25 to $35 uh, issue. Now, this is the $750 sale that I made. Mm, yes. <laughs> we. <Oui. laughs> I picked this up at a comic auction for $188. And that's going to sound like a lot of money to a lot of people. I'm not saying I suggest making that kind of investment if you're just starting out with reselling. But as you get more comfortable and you get more confident, you could help make these kind of gut decisions. And I was confident investing in this because, number one, it's Jane Mansfeld. Number two, it's vintage. This is Modern Man Magazine from 1958. Number two, the cover is really nice and bright, and she stands out really well in that yellow dress and that bright red lipstick. She has the shoulder straps coming slightly off of her, which is very tantalizing to a lot of people. In addition to her famous bust, bosom, cleavage. This is what the stereotype was of the blonde bombshell of the 1950s. Uh, she got some of her leg that's revealing there. She's grabbing the telephone. She's looking off to the side. All of these things help make it valuable. In addition to the grade, so this was graded by CGC as a 9.8. 
I purchased it that way. It wasn't something that I sent in to get graded. That's why I paid up $188 for it. Turns out that it was the single highest grade that that magazine had ever been given. That's something you could actually go and check as part of the CGC census. So you just sign in, you look up the magazine, and it'll tell you which ones came in at what particular grade. And that helps you set the market. I knew that there was some guy out there, you have to think like a guy or the stereotype of a guy that would pay up big money to have that displayed. And sure enough, someone came along and purchased it for $750. Now, you could make a lot of money with Jane Mansfield in other areas. It's not just magazines. So she was very famous in film. This is one of her most famous films. Will success spoil rock hunter? She also starred in this in Broadway. She played uh, Rita Marlowe in this. And this is actually some film that was found. This is 16 millimeter film. If you ever come across this, this one sold for $115 plus shipping. So here you could see. There's the film, and it's really helpful if you could get a projector and show some of the scenes. So I've shown uh, how to do this before with film slides, and it's really helpful. There you can see Tony Randall from The Odd Couple is in this, and this was smart to put some solo shots uh, of Jane Mansfield right in there like that. That's a great picture right there. So that really helps to make that sale. It's a 24-hour-a-day job, and I love every minute of each hour. If you come across her first starring role in film, The Girl Can't Help It, that will often bring in, you know, somewhere around $25 uh, to $30. Now, not all of her DVDs sell well, but this particular one is the one uh, to look for, for sure. Now, uh, there's another one that she's very famous for, which is called Promises, Promises. Uh, this one, you know, it could sell for around twenty to thirty-five dollars, depending. Um, this is one in which uh, she is actually the first American uh, film actress who starred in a role uh, in a Hollywood film uh, to be nude in the film. So she broke ground with that. So um, that's one definitely to keep on lookout for. Now, keep in mind that for this video uh, in coming up with things to look for, I'm coming up with things that you might be able to come across at estate sales and you know maybe at garage sales or if you're buying out some type of uh, collection somewhere, you might come across like a storage unit or something. I'm purposely not putting up things that were personally signed by her that could go for thousands of dollars or there have been times where clothing and jewelry from her estate have been sold, but I, and those go for a lot of money. It's unlikely you'll ever come across something like that. Now, this one really cracks me up because this just goes to show the silliness of guys and how much they will pay for things. Uh, this is the famous uh, water bottle. So <laughs> this is um, the hot water bottle, the Jane Manfield hot water bottle. I say funny because really, if you look at it up close, I mean, it doesn't really even look like her. I mean, it's just not a look at that. It's just really not a good resemblance. But, you know, if you just you know, take some plastic, you say it's Jane Mansfield on it, and you put like an hourglass figure together. Well, there you go. You can now sell it for 200 bucks plus, you know, 28 bucks in shipping. And uh, this is one that does come up uh, every so often on eBay. It's not like it's an extraordinarily rare item. It does come up here and there. So you might uh, come across this one. So don't pass it up. Pay attention to that name right there, Jane Mansfeld. All right. Now, ephemera is one of my favorite areas to sell in. And if you were ever able to compile a lot of Jane Mansfeld ephemera, like you see here, all sorts of different photos and uh, images and stills. Uh, this is, and there's even a record in here. Um, now, there is a, uh, there are some things in there that look signed, but they're, I don't believe they actually are real signed. I think they're uh, repro signatures, but this just goes to show you, you spread it out on a table like this. And um, that brought in almost $300 uh, if you convert it into US currency, a plus about $38 of shipping added on top of that. So there's another thing you could do is compile adverts together. Now, if you wanted to go beyond that, you could, if you had other 
blonde bombshells from the era, like Marilyn Monroe, for example, um, you could combine them together and make a big lot like that. And that will also sell. Now, if you're someone who happens to be particularly crafty, this is a good example of what somebody did to uh, take a make a modern product uh, that looks like something vintage. And this is basically someone who uh, used synthetic fibers to make a Jane Mansfield wig and sells them for $135 on eBay. Now, with this purchase, you are not getting the face. You are literally just getting the wig and uh, this is explained in the actual description. So just to give people out there who are crafty uh, some ideas, very smart to use the name right there, um, led to uh, you know a nice sale. The only time you could run into problems with something like this is if the estate happened to come after you. Some estates will do that, but I have no knowledge of the Mansfield estate ever coming after anyone for items like this. Uh, now, this is a pretty funny one. Uh, I love the face of this guy right here. It kind of reminds me of Pee Wee Herman a little bit. Uh, this is the biggest life pinup. So it's a five foot pinup of Jane Mansfield. Uh, that is hilarious. You can see there, it says you could use it as a party gag, as a playroom novelty, a gift, a door decoration, all sorts of things. This resulted in a $175 sale plus the shipping. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Now, this is another great example of just a single postcard. It just goes to show the power of Jane Mansfield's imagery. Uh, again, famous for her bust. And um, it was also something that made her very controversial. She was often involved in these publicity stunts where she would wear clothing that was too small and her top would fall off or her dress would fall off. And she got a lot of negative press for it, but she also got a lot of attention. She's considered the most photographed uh, Hollywood actress uh, of that particular era. And um, uh, this is just one example, but this is a modern postcard. So someone took an old photo, put it on a modern limited edition postcard set, companies called Swiftsure. And just this postcard alone sold for U.S. currency, $161. That is absolutely uh, incredible. Uh, this is another example. This is a pinup book. Uh, this contains over 100 glamorous images of Jane Mansfield, four full color pinups. Um, you can see some examples right over here. Uh, this one sold for $99. So there you go right there. Um, you know, basically, I would say the mod, the most modern equivalent to Jane Mansfield was probably Anna Nicole Smith with the full-bodied uh, figure. Um, this was something that um, actually made her um, not desirable to some early advertisers, and then it became something that made her very compelling to a lot of advertisers and production companies. Uh, she was actually sought after to replace. Marilyn Monroe and you know come after Marilyn Monroe who had been had become notoriously difficult on like a lot of film sets and stuff but then uh, you know taste change and in the 1960s back then people started to transition away from that blonde bombshell look um and so um she started to wane in popularity in the United States but she always maintained a very popular presence uh, overseas, especially in Europe. And she had a lot of popular nightclub uh, skits that she did, a lot of burlesque type of things as well. And so if you find anything from that era, like any posters or anything like that, uh, those could also sell for a lot of money. She's very popular uh, in the music community as well because she had done some singing. And there's a lot of people like in the punk rock scene who have taken a lot of inspiration from Jane uh, Mansfeld. And so she is a uh, an endearing, uh, an enduring figure in pop culture. Now, this is the most famous photograph ever of Jane Mansfield. It's the famous photo where she took the attention away from Sophia Loren. So you can see Sophia Loren uh, looking down at her cleavage right there. And at the time, a lot of the um, uh, newspapers that ran with this through UPI were blurring out parts of a Jane Mansfield top there. And uh, this is hilarious. Now it doesn't sell for a ton of money, but if you come across it, you, know, you could sell this for around 20 bucks. So uh, you could see this is the last one, 19 of them uh, have sold and it will be something that would be relatively easy to reproduce. 
But there's also money in irony. So while she is famous for that very voluptuous figure, um, you could see here that this is a picture in which we have the total opposite. You know, there were times where Mansfield did try to take on more serious roles. Uh, she did try to per se to portray herself less in a comedic way. And um, she she often joked that she did have a 163 IQ, but uh, people were more focused on her figure, which she had claimed was uh, 40, 21, 35. But in this one, she's, you know, all covered up. This slide has come up twice recently on uh, on eBay, and it has sold uh, not for the price you see there, which is a three hundred dollar cross out, but a best offer was accepted uh, for one hundred and fifty five dollars and one hundred and forty one dollars. So uh, don't think that you always have to see, um, you know, Jane Mansfield nearly naked uh, to be able to make money, uh, you know, on her image. This is a, a perfect uh, example uh, of that. So, um, you know, I hope that just taking you through all of these different items uh, is helpful. There's many more to go look at and explore. This is just a sampling, and I hope it was interesting uh, to you uh, to go and, and, and check out all the different uh, types of ways that uh, Jane Mansfield still maintains high popularity on eBay. Uh, to this day, Jane Mansfield still has a 75% sell through rate on eBay. Now that's the first time around. So if you took that item and the second time around tried to sell it, chances are the vast majority of those are going to sell. That's an incredible sell through rate. And, um, you know, I would highly suggest looking into this stuff, uh, men and women alike. Uh, another place I would suggest that you take a look at is the Katie Reed's eBay store. Uh, Katie Reed's uh, had a great appearance on this channel where she talked about reselling books. So if that's a topic you're interested in learning more about, you could also check out her YouTube channel. I will link that down below in the description section, along with the link to her awesome eBay store, all sorts of books and magazines. She really knows her stuff on that particular topic, and she's a great friend of the channel. Thank you, Katie, for being a Platinum member. And if you're interested in supporting this channel through membership, uh, please go check that out as well. So I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Take care. Oh no, no, it's quite spontaneous and it you have to feel it. You have to have some kind of an inspiration.